The physical geography of Mongolia has many mountain ranges, including the Hagain, Hinton, and Atlay Mountains, located right here. There is also many waterways throughout, such as the Swinge, Kruin, Orthon, and Zion rivers. Because of high elevation, there are sparse population. In the southeastern parts of Mongolia, there is the Gobi Desert right here. The climate mostly in Mongolia is steppe. It is a dry climate where it is a large, unforested grassland. Steppe is usually characterized by a semi-arid or continental climate, causing it to fail to support forests. Grasses and sparse trees are natural vegetation of the large steppe climate east of the deserts and in most of Mongolia. Also, there is a bit of desert climate where there is little precipitation and wildlife is usually very hostile. Although the deserts are not always hot, but often cold and windy. Lastly, there is also some subarctic climate near the north of Mongolia. This climate is usually defined by its very cold temperatures. Temperate grassland in the vegetation zone that mostly covers Mongolia. This area is usually very fertile and contains a rich mix of grass. Another vegetation that is located in Mongolia is coniferous forest. This vegetation causes the area to become temperate, causing summers to be warm and winters to be cool. This also has the requirements to sustain a forest. Lastly, in the south of Mongolia, there is desert scrub and desert waste climate. This vegetation consists of little moisture and very little precipitation. Also, there is plenty of wildlife in this area. Mongolia looks like a newly industrialized country in East Asia based on its low life expectancy. It is a high infant mortality rate and high literacy rate, but it's not taking account of how much nomadic population that is not taking part in this. The population pyramid of Mongolia shows that they recently had a decrease in population for the teenagers from 10 to 19 year olds. Although the bottom of the pyramid looks like it's growing at a fast rate, also the age group of 25 to 29 is rather large. This means that the future economy will need to be prepared to take care of a large group of elders. It is also the least densely populated country in the world due to this l large amount of mountains in part of the Gobi Desert. Mongolia is the second largest land country, which means none of it touches the sea. Mongolia was once a country who was ruled by nomads. Soon after, in 1206, Genghis Khan united all these tribes to form the Mongolian Empire, which was the largest empire in the world at that time. Genghis Khan ruled for 21 years, and after his demise, the Mongol Empire was subdivided into four kingdoms. Genghis Khan's grandson ascended to the throne of one of the four kingdoms that encompassed present-day Mongolia and China. Kublai Khan established the Yuan Dynasty. The Yuan Dynasty was the first foreign dynasty to rule all of China until it was overthrown by the Chinese Ming Dynasty. The Mongol court returned to its native land. However, centuries of internal conflict, expansion, and contraction brought them to fall in Manchu Qing Dynasty. For the next 200 years, Mongolia was ruled by the Qing Dynasty. Finally, Mongolia declared its independence in 1911 under the name Bog Khan. Mongolia is a parliamentary government. Their leader is Chief Executive Abidor. Their Chief Executive in Mongolia usually has a term of four years. Mongolia's legislature also has 76 seats, and the last legislative elections were held in 2008. The country used to be led by communist rule until the start of transition to a parliamentary system. They also have a second chief executive named Batbold and a minister of Arak is a traditional beverage in Mongolia. It is a milk that is fermented, which means it is like beer wine. Kashir is a large filled pocket, fried or deep fried, with mutton and meat such as beef work. And Mongolians consider fat meat to be higher quality. Lastly is budog, the dish usually made by removing the bowels of bones of large carcasses, then cooking it from the inside by putting hot stones through the neck cavity, which is then sealed. The meat prepared in this fashion is tasty, tender, and well fragrant. You can even add pepper, salt, vegetables, and potatoes. The leisures of Mongolia include art and horse head fiddling, like in these pictures. 
In this region there is shamanism, where people worship the blue sky. The nomads of this vast expanse of Mongolia, steppes, shared a vision of the universe where the human world experienced what is characterized by religious concepts, rituals, and magical practices. Also in this region is Tibetan Buddhism. This religion gained more popularity after it was introduced in the 16th century. Tibetan Buddhism shared the common Buddhist goals of individual release from suffering and reincarnation. Also stolen from Mongolia has been returned by the United States after illegal smuggling. This is the cause of a turnover to the Mongolian government in a registration ceremony on April 5th. They recovered 18 dinosaur skeletons. The bones were disassembled into different pieces before they were smuggled into the U.S. through customs between 2005 and 2012. The Department of Homeland Security seized the skeleton from a commercial paleontologist, Eric Proke, who pleaded guilty in 2012 to smuggling in the dinosaur skeletons. As his punishment, he will serve three months in jail and one year and three months supervised release on charges related to smuggling, conspiracy, and the sale of <coughs> stolen goods.